I was wrong about the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. So a couple months ago, I had a client of mine reach out to me. They wanted to get me a gift and they asked me if I wanted the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. And I was like, um, I don't really know what I would use them for. And they were like, well, they have a camera, they have all these cool features, all this great stuff. And I'm like, I don't really think I would use it. They're like, no, you're a content creator. You can get great POVs, you can do all this great stuff. And I said, okay, I'd love to give them a try. Let's do it, right? And now I realize that these might be the greatest piece of equipment I've ever owned in terms of creating content and just capturing life in general and a couple of other things that I'll let you guys know about later on in this video that really blew my mind, all right? So what are these? These are the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses, a camera on them, they have five speakers that have really great spatial audio, guys, and they're in that nice Ray-Ban form factor. There are so many ways that we can use these glasses to create great content and just enjoy life in general. All right, so let's get into what I liked about them first. I've been wearing the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses for the last 100 days. I've been wearing them every single day. For In some way, shape, or form, I've been using them. The very first day I got these, it, they blew my mind because I went to an NBA game to watch the Clippers play OKC here in Los Angeles. And when I went to that game, I noticed something absolutely amazing. I was able to capture moments at the game that I otherwise wouldn't be able to because that day I had the unique opportunity to get on the court after the game to play in an influencer game. So I actually wore the glasses. If you look at some of these clips up on the screen here, I'm playing basketball on an NBA court. It's crazy how the glasses on this footage is from the camera. All right, it's a 12 megapixel camera, super awesome, super smooth with great stabilization. I'm dribbling basketballs, dunking, moving around, getting great highlights, having fun. And now I get to relieve those memories through my eyes. And I think that's something that's hugely slept on whether you're playing with your kids playing with your pets going on dates going to do events it's so awesome that you get to relive those moments to your glasses and provide that extra perspective if you're a content creator or filming videos like I do full-time you can look at those clips and get different angles and different perspectives to make your audience feel more immersed and with me using this camera out in the field playing basketball and doing that type of content, as you can see, I even took it out to the beach and played some outdoor basketball. These have fallen off my face and they're insanely durable. But let's get into some specs real quick. It's got a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. It shoots at 1080p and 30 frames per second. The microphone has a five mic setup with immersive audio recording. And a quick tip about the audio with the, um, the mics is if you want it to feel louder, to feel more immersive and get that more of that bass that people say that this lacks, put your hood up or wear a beanie. And as soon as you feel that, that top layer come on top of the glasses, the sound is even more crisp and amazing. So the glasses only weigh 133 grams and they come with an amazing charging case. So let's talk about this case, guys. So here's the case that we use here. This is the Ray-Ban Matter case. It looks like any other Ray-Ban case, right? But when you take the glasses and put it inside, open the case up and close it, you can see that LED light that lets you know that it's charging. See that, that orange light? When it's fully charged, you're gonna see it be green, which is really cool. And you've got that US, you've got that USB charger at the bottom, all right? So it's really cool how discreet it is. When you see these just sitting out, you would never think that these are some sort of technology-based sunglasses. They look like any other pair of Ray-Bans, and I'm a really big fan of that. And of course, when you open it up, you got the nice, crispy Ray-Ban Meta up top, which is really, really cool. So, I'm a big fan of the case. I love how it lets you know if it's charging. I love how it lets you know if it's fully charged or not. I think, Super intuitive, super smooth, really awesome way to check out how these work. And the storage built into the glasses is about 32 gigabytes. That's the same as like a base phone. It's a lot of storage. You can get a lot of video. You can do so much with this, all right? Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses are IPX4 water resistant. What does that mean? IPX4 rating means your glasses are safe even if you get caught in light rain while wearing them. You simply remove the glasses as fast as you can, wipe them dry, and you're gonna be as good to go. So it might distort some of the speakers or some of the audio and stuff like that, but if you get them lightly wet, there's like it's misting, light drizzle, the glasses are gonna be perfectly fine. And in my case, I wear them when I'm sweating and playing sports, and I've never had an issue. And I've been in full, deep, drenched sweat and never had a single issue, all right? And did I mention earlier that these things are only $299 out the box? That's pretty impressive. I think that's pretty cool. And another thing that we typically have been seeing is a lot of people have been purchasing these and getting the transition lenses. So the transition lenses are awesome because when you're inside, it has the, the, sun, the sunglasses look and when you're outside, they transition to more regular glasses and people are getting prescription transition lenses so they can wear them and have clarity and all that. They don't have to wear their contacts. I personally just have the sunglasses version, but they also have so many different form factors and colors and there's a whole other version of these that are a different shape. 
the frame names are the Headliner and the Wayfair. All right, so those are two different frames and these are Ray-Ban frames, guys. So the, another big perk about having these glasses is they look like regular Ray-Bans. The only downside about the camera, folks, is it only shoots in vertical. So when you're looking at the footage, it's not going to be horizontal and wide like a shot like this. It's going to be vertical and kind of optimized for like stories and reels and stuff like that, which makes sense with why Meta would use these. These are supposed to be used to create content and used to be able to capture life in a format that is most popular online. So it makes sense. But in the future, I would love to see much wider lens that captures a more full shot. And the other thing about the lens, guys, is that it's only on the left side of your face. It's the left notch. It's not like two cameras. It's one. That left notch means you have to kind of tilt your head and move your body to the side a little bit. Another thing with the camera that I forgot to mention is when you are recording, you press the button for the camera, you hold it down, and you see that white light that appears in the top of, the, top of your glasses. That white light lets everyone in the environment know that you're recording. So sometimes people are like, oh, how do I know you're recording? How do I know you're doing this or that? It's actually because that white light is showing that way. No one has to worry about them, you recording them without their consent or anything like that. So just like always when people know that that white light is how you know that you're recording. And if you ever block the sensor, the glasses will not allow you to record. Not only is the POV camera great for action sports and things like that, it also, as I told you guys earlier, it's got five microphones. The camera though does not have 4K, It's but it's still really clear and really awesome. I would I would compare it to like an iPhone 11, which is great. Having an iPhone 11 on your face is a really awesome way to still get great shots, all right? You have awesome built-in integrated AI where you can ask questions like the weather and you can check like sports scores and basically do anything with AI and the Hey Meta feature that is absolutely amazing, guys, all right? Something I think is really cool that I don't have access to yet, but if you're a part of the beta testing program, you can actually use their brand new AI system, the Meta AI, and it's really, really dope. So with the Meta AI, you're able to do things like say, hey Meta, look at this, right? And it'll tell you what you're looking at. There's even rumors of there being some sort of feature where you can translate languages. Now I don't know how far that is. That's like a little rumor I read when I was looking some things up, but it's really cool to be able to identify things, really get that fully immersive AI because AI is such a big part of our future. And basically having a sort of a built-in chat GPT within your sunglasses sounds like a game changer to me. And yes, there are other products out there that allow you to be fully immersed in your environment and get camera footage and, and process information. But I think the level of discreteness that you have with these is truly what makes them different. Now, this is some of the other practical uses that I found for this. So for me, I do a lot of walking meetings. I'm always on the phone, I'm always on calls. I use these as my main headset for calls literally daily. I'm on the phone at least two hours a day, walking around, talking to people, and it's awesome. The audio comes out clear. People hear me very clearly on the other end. The only funny issue that I find is that people often don't realize that my glasses have a microphone in them. So people will literally stop me and ask, who are you talking to? Or they look at me as if I'm like crazy or something. So this is something that's a little different. I wish there was a way to kind of show people that you're on a call, but I also understand why that's not the case because like that also could be a little bit unsafe. But I'm always walking up and down the streets of Venice here in California and People literally stare at me like I'm a crazy person because I'm on the phone talking and I'm very animated. I talk with my hands as you guys can see and I get a little loud. So that's always really, really funny as I'm going through the motions with these. Now, when I'm in the gym though, again, I mentioned earlier the little trick about putting my hood up to get better audio. I discovered that because I, I use this as my primary headset for not only phone calls, but for music as well. And the audio that comes through here is really, really good. Now it does lack a little bit in the bass department, but I found that again, when I put a beanie on or a hood up, it sounds just like I'm wearing headphones, but I still have my ears available. So if a client who sees me in the gym wants to come talk to me, they can. If somebody wants to you know, just chat it up with me in general, I can talk to them and it doesn't really get in the, I don't have to pull headphones out and I still feel like I look as approachable as I should being someone who works in a gym. And you're probably like, well, you're wearing sunglasses indoors? Like, what are you doing? Well, when you're looking through the glasses, guys, and there's not really a way for me to show you this the way that I would like to, but I wanted to mention it anyway. It's not like super dark like traditional sunglasses. It's it's like a it's almost like a, a light filter over the over your eyes. So you're still being able to block out the light, but you're also able to see with really nice colors. So like when I was on the beach and stuff like that, it's I could still see the vibrance of the beach just with like a nice light filter over the top. At least that's what it felt like in my opinion. One of the greatest moments though of having these glasses, folks, was when I posted some clips from that basketball game and Ray-Ban Meta actually reposted my post to their IG and they actually posted it on their Threads account of me playing basketball. One of the things I haven't seen a lot of people talk about with these is if you go on the Ray-Ban Meta Threads account or their Instagram account and you tag them and you 
and you show them their clips, they will repost those clips, guys. They really want to see you guys creating as much content as possible, putting as much content out there, and just like showing how to use these because I feel like a lot of people, again, when they see them, they don't know what they're for. So just wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys. It was really cool to get some love from the brand, and I didn't even know that was going to happen. Closing, I want to talk about the ability to create content because I feel like most people I see reviewing these, they're tech reviewers, so they don't really talk about creating other types of content. I just really feel like the action sports world is sleeping on these glasses. A lot of my friends have now since bought them. Other trainers have now since bought them. I'm a personal trainer by trade, guys. So I've been able to capture moments with my clients you know, where I'm tapping their, their lats or getting them into a good position to get the best results for their exercises and correcting their form. And I can replay those moments through my eyes, through the glasses, and really help them develop and progress. This has helped my business so much. So if you do anything with your hands, any sort of labor with your hands, I feel like this is a great way to capture those moments and to help improve overall. With my clients, it's just been super awesome to be able to record their progress without being distracted in a way that I otherwise would have been trying to record them with my phone. Now, this is super niche to me as a personal trainer, but it's something that makes it so that I can't leave the house without these things. They've become so ingrained in my life, so essential to my life, and it all started with me not even believing I needed them or could use them in any way, shape, or form. So. In closing, let me know down below what you got, any questions you have about the Meta Smart Glasses. Again, this is only my second review in the tech space like this, so let me know how things, things I can do to get better. I know I talk a little fast. I'm going to work on slowing that down over time, but I can't wait to do more reviews like this, especially in places and spaces that help me improve outside of my fitness career as well. And if you guys want to see me doing other things, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel, guys. I post workouts. I'm going to be reviewing more products and just kind of documenting my life here in Southern California. So I appreciate and love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Let me know what you think about the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses.